So I'm a graphic designer and a visual artist. And when you think of artists, uh, you often think that they were very talented at drawing as kids and consequently went to art schools or fine art galleries or academies. Well, uh, none of this was my case. My career path was a bit uh, more unpredictable and consisted of a series of experiments and sometimes random choices. Some of them were bad, some of them were good, but in the end, uh, they all helped me achieve uh, artistic uh, self-awareness and recognition. So I grew up in a small town uh, in central Poland, pretty much disconnected from the creative community, and that triggered the need for me to learn by myself. Um, but when you are self-taught, you don't have a mentor or a teacher who will instruct you or tell you how to do things, which may seem bad uh, in my case, but uh, it also meant more freedom. Uh, and I started with my first graphic uh, because of the dissatisfaction. I simply was not happy with the way uh, the standard computer wallpapers looked like. And because I didn't have the internet connection, I had to create my own wallpapers. And from there on, it was just a long way of experimenting uh, with the different techniques and styles, as I was still looking for something that I could call my style. And as every young creative, I dreamed of uh, creating projects for big clients, uh, because it seemed like an ultimate proof that when you are working for those guys, you have to be good. Um, so uh, at that point, I, I kind of gave up my personal way of thinking and started creating works that looked like those big um, commercial productions so that those companies could hire me to do similar works for them. And eventually I did it. I started getting bigger and bigger projects and got a job at a renowned graphic studio in Warsaw doing work for high caliber international clients. Uh, it was mostly advertising work there, but sometimes it was uh, other types of work, such as designing uh, the website for the po Polish exposition at Expo 2010. And it was there that I realized uh, that all the extremely talented people that I was lucky to work with, they all had their own unique way of achieving the same result. So I learned that there was no strictly right or wrong way of doing things as long as the result was great. But at the same time, it stood in opposition to with how limited personal expression was in cases for those big commercial clients. Um, even if those were dream projects, such as the one here for uh, Grammy Awards. So at that point, I decided I wanted to move back towards personal creation. Uh, I became an independent designer uh, I published my online portfolio with my commercial work and with a few smaller personal projects. And one of those projects was Sneaker Cube. As an avid fan and collector of sneakers, I always wanted to create something that was related to the sneaker culture, but I, wanted, I, don't, I didn't want it to be just another illustration of sneakers. Instead, I came up with a quirky and creative way of collecting my favorite sneakers, and I found the shape of a cube to be just perfect for that. And I know what you're thinking, because a lot, of, a lot of people thought that I have no idea what it really is, but it looks so cool. And uh, luckily, a lot of people thought in the same way, including some collaborators and clients. So this project went viral on the internet and uh, received great press throughout the creative community and resulted in uh, several co collaborations, such as the one here uh, for Nike. And the success of Sneaker Cube made me realize that those forward-thinking people and clients, they were far more interested in those personal projects that they were, than they were in those commercial uh, projects. And no wonder, because those personal projects uh, are more authentic, because they come from passion and uh, genuine interest, uh, and I think, People will always sense that genuine in interest uh, behind your work. Um, and that encouraged me to experiment more with uh, the different styles. And each one of those styles that I came up with ended up being used uh, in some way uh, in the commercial field, such as the one here for uh, Sony PlayStation or uh, the one that I designed uh, for Google, which is the official wallpaper for uh, Android system. So at that time, I felt recognized and safe. 
I was doing work for uh, great clients who have given me great uh, creative freedom. While at the same time, I stayed true to my creative uh, self-expression, which felt kind of like a luxury. But instead of continuing doing the same kind of projects, I decided to move on and uh, experiment further. And why would I do that? Uh, I simply never wanted to repeat myself over and over. And I, I, I got quickly bored with the same type of work. In your learning process, variety is better than repetition. So if you modify something in your approach every time you're mastering something, uh, you will learn faster that way. Uh, so I decided to create something new. And uh, this, type, th this time, um, the new thing was seemingly a step back, a step towards the most traditional of tools in creation, which is the paint. And instead uh, of just using the paint in the originally intended way on canvas, I picked up uh, pieces of transparent acetate sheets, painted on them, and then digitally composed them to form those three-dimensional paint sculptures, as I called them. So again, I tried to look at the paint from the different perspective, uh, and it resulted in a series of typographic pieces. It became a huge success again. Uh, and this, the success of those, uh, this project led to a number of uh, collaborations, such as the one here for uh, Squarespace, uh, Wired, uh, or Adobe. But I'm already thinking of doing something more and uh, something more original. So uh, as you can see in my career path, I relied a lot on self-teaching. Uh, and I think the best things uh, came to me that way through an eager creative experimentation and taking creative risks and sometimes abandoning something that already worked. Uh, and uh, I think if you are self-taught, it may be a longer and more windy way of getting there, but you may be surprised how, on how rewarding this process may be. And if you... Uh, and I think success is a bit unpredictable. And if you often hear uh, very successful people sharing their stories, they often say, uh, it started at something very small, and I couldn't have predicted this to become so big and successful. And I think we should all allow ourselves uh, to be surprised with those unpredictable turnarounds. But for that to happen, we need to create opportunities. And I'm trying to create mine to those creative projects. And I encourage you to do so, to create something new, even on a small scale. And you will uh, learn something new, and something unexpected will happen. Thank you.